Welcome back, guys, to the channel. Uh, it's been a long time since I've uploaded any videos. I know I've uh, been really busy and working a lot and traveling a lot because I do a lot of traveling with the work I do. But uh, I just want to give an update on the truck, uh, what's going on, what I've done to it. Since the last video, I probably really haven't done anything special to it. But, um, huh, let me see. Uh, nope, no, nothing really has changed. But I just want to get more into depth on what uh, what I've done into it, suspension-wise. And the interior, somebody asked me about my iPad install. Uh, look, I'll show you all that. But, um, I got some stuff planned. I mean, it's not a lot of changes. Probably just going to change up uh suspension color and do something different uh maybe do a bds lift kit or something like that I'm not sure yet and then uh also i got more painting videos i got uh and my wife's tahoe i gotta paint the chrome uh grill show y'all how to how i do it it's not, i mean it might not be the best way to do it but that's the way i do it. you know maybe it could help someone out but i got install videos on that you know i'm gonna try to post more do a lot more vlogs or anything like that you know work videos uh, detailing videos i mean just a little bit of everything a little bit of all kinds of content and maybe you know go from there uh maybe you know get another vehicle and you know do some uploads on that you know but stay tuned we'll see uh I'll also probably be painting in the future the the my wife's other car this jeep uh I do a, a video compilation of you know of painting this whole jeep because i mean i'll show you what i'm talking about all right yeah so on this jeep oh shoot it's well it's dirty but um uh you probably can't see it but see i know in the past uh plastic dipped all this these uh this trim if you can see you can see it the plastic dip's already peeling off and whatnot but all the trim, all the window trim around it has been plastic dip, uh, plastic dip the bottom right there. Um, what else? Oh, those those top rails. But I mean, the the car is a 2012, but it's got its dings here and there. You know, there's one right here. But um, for the most part, it's it's, it's a good car. I mean, we haven't had any issues with it. So uh, you know, yeah, I was as I was saying. Uh, I'm probably gonna do a vid on painting this whole Jeep and uh, painting everything, really doing the whole thing. But if you can see it right here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But all this is pretty scratched up. Um, let's see if maybe, let's see if we can feel, pick it up. But I mean, it scratches all the way around. And uh, do that, re redo the whole paint, paint all this plastic trim. Um, paint it, paint it all black and something like that. Probably stick with the same color. Redo the whole grill, the whole front grill, and go from there. And uh, just show y'all how, how I would paint this car, and we'll see what happens. And back to the truck. Show y'all. So, like I said, it's a 2016 F-150. It's a V8, the 5.0. It's four wheel drive and it's got a six inch rough country lift, but it also has those Bilstein shocks that are adjustable. Let's see, I can show you what I'm talking about right there. You might be able to see this got three notches, and right there is where you can adjust them. I think the highest you can go is like an inch and three quarters or something like that but and i got mine set at that so i mean it's a six inch rough country and then add that so it's like seven three quarters nah, let's just say eight you know but i mean it, if you look at it well let me show you the cv axle wings i mean they're they're, they're not terrible but you know they are you know at an angle pretty bad but they're not terrible i've seen worse but the truck rides good I mean the truck rides good and it's got a hundred and twenty two thousand miles. I'll pull it up in a minute when I go inside. But 
it's uh i mean it's a strong truck the motor transmission have had any issues with it and i mean it's been shoot to texas so many times i've driven it to michigan so many times south florida north carolina mississippi alabama i mean all a bunch of places you know so i mean i, I love the truck i mean i i wouldn't trade it i wouldn't sell it it's a good looking truck at least in my opinion for me and like i said i mean it hasn't failed on me and that's you know it's reliable you know so i'm glad i got it you know i had a 13 eco boost that i traded in uh for this truck because the that motor just sucked i mean i was just having issues after issues after issues so i just traded it in and got this one and have it went back you know i mean if i get another truck i mean it might be a ford might be a cummins i mean i don't know you know it's i like i'm, I'm not gender bi or biased towards any of them i would take whatever you know i just gotta look at it. i mean I, right now i like those new 2019 ram 2500s you know i mean the front end is they look good i like the duramaxes you know the, not the new ones but the, the older models but we'll see we'll see but you know this truck you know i should have done a lot more install videos but i've i've done you know but all most of the stuff on here I've, I've installed myself like in my previous video this is one thing a lot of people always ask me about lobo what does that mean lobo like i said in mexico it's the badge that they use instead of f-150 so you in mexico you'll buy either a lobo xlt a lobo lariat lobo platinum lobo king ranch and me being come from a mexican or hispanic you know descent you know i'm i'm proud of who i am so i always try to put stuff in there to show you know who i am you know and i always ask like well, what is that i'm like well you know it's it's basically f-150 but in mexico you know so you know a little touch like that at least for me it's pretty cool but you know let me show you some more like right there somebody asked me the other day as well about these control arms and why i put them on there and i put them on there because whenever i first got it the regular control arms they um started rubbing up against that shot and i and i'll replace those shots later i mean they're okay but i i bought these control arms upper control arms but i don't really like them because i didn't pay attention at that time but they don't have any of those those uh nipples right here where you can grease them so you know it just kind of throws you off you know you can't it, it just pisses me off sometimes whenever i'm driving it starts squeaking so i have to grease it you know but other than that i mean it's pretty good uh these uh toe mirror lights i did these uh i did them at work actually and i think they came out good i mean i could do a little bit more you no know, touch-ups here and there but you know i mean i'm more of a do-it-yourselfer i try not to you know go out there and you know pay so much money for people to do it you know because i mean some people do it good but it's always at the end of the day i look at it you know it's what i want to see like what i guess my standards are and whatnot you know and for me you know when it comes to a truck you know or whatever i'm doing whatever it is if it's like housework or or work at, at work or whatever you know i'll uh, i want to do it my way and i want to make sure it's done right so you know if i want to do it that way that's fine you know it works for me you know and i, I don't want to take it to somebody else and then there's something i might not like about it you know so it just always goes back to that you know it de depends you know like but me i always try to do everything myself the suspension is probably the only thing i didn't put on the truck but everything else i've done and, oh yeah and mountain and bounce the tires tires and, or wheels and tires everything else i've done I did all the electrical, you know, all the wiring up the the lights. I've done all the system. I mean, everything. It's set, like I said, installing the lift and uh, mounting wheels and tires and belts. Everything else I've done, you know. And I'll I'll show y'all more. You know, like these are the Anzo headlights. I I put these two. Well, this light bar behind the grill. And then I also put this one, which is. It's not a light bar it's more one of those construction lights you know um i just do it for safety purposes when i'm put off the side pulled over to the side of the road and whatnot 
You know, I saw those two, that Rough Country Light bar. And the other one, that yellow one, I really don't like anymore. I, I really was going to buy it. Or I bought it for um for the fog, but it doesn't really help out. Um, the truck is dirty right now, but it, but it's cool. I mean, I don't mind. You know, I, I got the amp steps, you know, which are very convenient on a truck this high. Um, I installed these uh, wheel wheel liner from Rough Country. And also, all my brakes they're from stage three motorsports i think that's what it is you know shout out to them you know good customer service fast shipping and everything you know um i got all that from there i got the recon tail lights i got the uh recon uh tailgate light bar which is awesome and i got the rough country backup lights i also got these construction lights under there as well or them safety lights that I call them. And I also got a dent right there and right there. But, you know, that was uh, up there in Michigan. Uh, but it's cool. also got the Gen Y hitch. That is rated for a bunch. I mean, I haven't really towed since I got it. I don't know if y'all can see it right there, but yeah. And um, also, I got that work for it. Uh, decal shout out to d max rhino out there in california uh for sending it out you know i bought on his website you know i support the brand and what what he stands for blue collar work it's awesome and also lg and d i got their decal as well they do awesome all their bills are badass you know shout out to geo over there in connecticut and uh let me see what else um i'll show you the inside so back seat is I mean this is like I, said, I got the XLTS cloth seats and all that but I got the subs under there let me show you on the other side I got two 12 inch Rockford Fosgate subs on there and I have uh, all components in the doors and all this I did myself it's like I said I messed up should have done an install video but there it is right there the installation of of all the where I got my signal from from that kicker whatever that is I can't even see it that's the amp for the components it's that mini Rockford Fosgate amp and that's the amp for the subs and those it's 212s I mean it sounds good but I'm actually planning on redoing the whole system so that's you know stay tuned for that video I'm gonna uh, do all Rockford stuff on, in, on it and redo the whole system and i'll show you how that and here's the inside i mean nothing special like i said cloth seats it does have the backup um the rear sliding window and it does have the moon roof the twin panel moon roof and here's the ipad install that, that somebody asked me about it and so basically on this i just ordered the i think it's from skosh their ipad dash kit and that was it um you basically just mount it because it's double-sided um double-sided tape on this so this is the whole mount and you just mount it on there and i just ran my usb cable from the usb uh plugins down here I ran it behind and through that uh, air vent and then just put you know it's made for the iPad so you just slide the iPad in there like that and that's it and basically you know you can do whatever you know you watch your YouTube or whatnot you know I mean plug it in and you can connect it Bluetooth or you know see Rigo's iPad you know you can connect the Bluetooth or USB or whatnot and they're all place you know I mean, it's really, really simple. You know, it's a simple install and whatnot. And that's it for the enter. Oh, and the, the windows, I got 5% all around, but then I also put another layer of 5% on the front too because I could still see through the 5% originally. So I did that as well. And I mean, now it's really freaking dark. You know, it's just it's kind of hard to see, but it's all right, it's cool. And uh, back to the mileage, if you can see it right there. 
it's a uh, hundred and twenty thousand eight hundred and ninety and let me see maybe my mpgs on this truck right now are like 14.2 but that's because from here to work and back uh, it's about 20 minutes going 20 minutes coming back but there's a lot of stops in between but when i go drive down south to uh, florida for work i get about 60 miles to the gallon you know and i get over almost close to 600 miles to the tank because i got this truck and it's the 36 gallon truck 36 gallon tank truck so you know and it's good you know I, I like it especially for, since i do a lot of traveling it, it's convenient it helps out i don't have to do a lot of stops you know and also i'll show you this this is that rough country switch there's six switches that is basically like the uh, like the ones that they put in jeeps and whatnot you know but this is made from rough country and it's the same thing all my light switches are on this so you know i got the light bar the other light bar the yellow light bar uh these are the backup rough country lights these are for the rock lights and that is for the um construction lights that i have on there but yeah that's pretty much it regarding the the whole outside truck i mean i'll do more updates on it i'll post more about it any other questions or anything like that you know just comment and you know please like and subscribe to the channel like i said i'll try to do more vlogs more posts uh work trips or traveling trip i mean anything you know i i do detailing you know is i don't run it as a business or anything but i i like keep my cars clean right now it's not clean because it's been raining so you know i just i'm gonna wait till the, when i see there's no more rain for the next couple of weeks you know i'll wash it keep it clean and i'll do more install videos i mean it could be on this i've done a bunch of installs on my brother's trucks uh, i'll show you those in an upcoming videos but thank you all for watching please comment subscribe to the channel and support and thank you for everything